Now they're number He gives it up. Quick pass across to Trevor Johnson. He puts it up from deep. He's got a three, his first three, uh, first points of the game and the team's first points of the game. Albany has the early three nothing lead. And a pass from Hoffman to Bender. He goes right out of bounds for Pass to Caleb John, deflected out by Albright. Will remain Albany ball. 32 on the shot clock. Ball gets to Benitez. And he tries to find someone in the middle, but it's stolen. Brian Hoffman brings it up quickly. Finds Albright, saves it, gives it to Bender. Now has it to Grant Grant. Triple teamed, and he gets it stripped. Evan Brown's running the floor. And it falls to Daniel Albright. Another transition opportunity. He will slow it down. Ball finds Hoffman. Hoffman puts it up from three. Off the back of the rim. Rebounded by Albany.
Benitez working on Hoffman. And he called for a carry, that's a turnover. Gilded on ball. It's after the first minute and a half, three nothing, Albany. Dutchman have had two open looks from three and a turnover. And if they can keep getting those looks, they should be in fine shape. And there's a foul on the floor. Number four, Alamo Benitez. His first, team's first. Hoffman's working on Benitez. Gives to Ben Ortel at the top. He's given some space. Finds Bender. Ortel sets the screen. Bender puts it up from three. He's got it. Tie game 3 3 early on. Albany pushes quickly and a three on the other end. No good. Rims out. Rebounded by Hoffman. Hoffman looking to push it. Albany had numbers back. Finds Albright in the corner. Ball's on the floor, picked up by number 35, Omar Smith. He goes all the way to the hoop. Blocking foul called. On uh, number two, Daniel. On uh, number one, Matt Bender, he got back. And it's good that he stopped the easy transition bucket. And that'll send Caleb John to the line. Caleb John, three for three on the season. On his free throws. Gets the first. And the second, his percentage stays at 100%. And mounted to Hoffman, they try and trap, but he's too quick. Gets around, finds Mengel. Mengel, beautiful feed, he's got an easy bucket inside. Beautiful play set up by the Dutchman. Ball's kicked, Mangle almost comes away with the steal. He looking to go all the way, but he tips it out of bounds. 29 on the shot clock, Falcons remain in possession. Three put up, and it's short, but rebound falls right to Caleb John and puts it up for an easy two points. Albany's running. A a little bit of a half court press. Dutchman break it, Albright has it, gives to Bender. Bender gives to Albright, Albright drives, kicks out to Mangle. Mangle gives to Albright, he puts it up for three. Short, rebounded by Albany, quickly given to Benitez to bring it up. Now driving hard to the basket is Omar Smith, he'll draw a foul. But it's gonna be called a charge his feet were set. That's a good play. Albright, he goes behind the back to break the press, giving a Bender. Bender drives, picks up a double team, which means Hoffman's wide open on the inside. They keep working around to find the open man. Eventually comes back to Bender. Bender finds Ben Ortel inside. He's fouled and won. Good feed from Bender to Ben Ortel in the middle. Gets a bucket to go. Now Ben Ortel at the line with a chance to accept, uh, take the first lead of the game. And number, th checking in for Albany, number 30. Ben Ortel shooting 42% on the line. Lane violation on Albany will give Ben Ortel another chance. This one rims out, still no good. Omar Stith brings it up, he gets it back. Benitez now. To Caleb John finds Trevor Johnson. Benitez gives to number 30. And he tries to feed someone inside. It's tipped out of bounds. Two. 
The score still remains 7-7. Dutchman have yet to have the lead. Hoffman finds, eventually finds Bender. Now it goes back to Hoffman. Albany Press hasn't produced a turnover yet, but it's looking more and more dangerous to possession. Hoffman gives to Albright. Ben Artelis as the screen rolls, eventually finds Mangle. He goes for three, and he's got it. Mangle with the three puts the lead 10 to seven. And Albany with another turnover, that's back-to-back -back turnovers. He was on, his foot was on the line, Caleb John. Ryan Teeny checks in for Daniel Albright, the sophomore. Balls worked around Hoffman, now finds Mangle. Mangle looks to shoot, instead gives it up to Bender. Bender drives, kicks it out to Ben Ortel. Ben Ortel drives, and he's hit as he goes up. No foul call, but he gets it to go. 12-7, Dutchman. Benitez going for three. Long rebound is being kicked around. And it's saved, good save from Matt Bender. Goes flying into the stands, but keeps possession. Now Bender has it on the other side. He goes up with it, in the end finds Mangle. He misses the shot, but offensive rebound, Ben Ortel. Eventually it's back to Bender. With a new shot clock, Hoffman's open. He drives, flips it up with one hand, no good. Albany's pushing the floor quick. And a wide open three, bottom. Number 35, Omar Stith. Cuts the lead to two. With a little over two minutes remaining in the first quarter. Teeny's got it, finds Mangle inside. Was open, drew a man, but he still gets it right over Trevor Johnson. Another two points for Mangle. Albany working around the three-point line. And number 35, Omar Stith tries to hit another three. This time not as fortunate. Ball will remain under the hoop, Albany ball. Inbound pass is tipped around and stolen. Now Hoffman's wide open running the floor. He flips it up, doesn't get it to go. A little too quick under the hoop. Probably should have kicked it out, would have had Mangle trailing wide open, but it remains Dutchman ball under the hoop. Need more awareness out of Hoffman there. They had a three on one. Just wanted to get it up quick. Let's see if Dutchman can do anything with this. Teeny finds Hoffman. Hoff is trying to get it to Ben Artel, eventually does. Ben Artel's got someone on his back, spins, jumps. He gets his own offensive rebound, tips from Brendan Hoffman, and a three's put up. Hoffman, another tip, two offensive rebounds. Beautiful effort. Now he resets it with 30 on the shot clock. He certainly made up for the last two points not going in. Now Teeny drives, gives to Mangle. Mangle looks to shoot, finds Ben Ortel. Ortel to Albright, Albright drives, picks to Mangle. Mangle, fake shot, now drives. Finds Hoffman from three, he's open. Hits the back of the rim and another offensive rebound. Ortel gets it. This will be the fourth chance Dutchman have. Teeny goes up, flips it to Ortel, and he gets it. Well deserved two points after the hustle from the offense. Albany now looking to get some points back. Ball's tipped, and it's gonna go Dutchman ball, another turnover. Albany with a lot of turnovers in the 
first quarter. 25 seconds remaining. Dutchman up by six. Probably will hold for the last shot here, trying to extend the lead going into the second quarter. Hoffman breaks the one-man press. Twelve seconds. Starting to make his move. Finds Ortel. Now Albright. Seven seconds. Gets the teeny. Hoffman has the last shot wide open from three. Rims out. And that'll end the first quarter. Dutchman lead the Falcons 16 to 10. The end of the first. The last contest, Mangle hit a milestone of 200 points on the season. He's got seven in this one. No one else on the team has over 100. The next closest is Daniel Albright with 88. Matt Bender, 79. So Mangle has been their source of production on offense. And they've been looking to him early on here. He's hit a three, a couple of nice layups. The play of that first quarter had to have been Hoffman's two offensive rebounds, followed by Ortel's offensive rebound. And the whole possession capped off by Ortel's finish at the hoop. Ortel having a great game so far, six points. Dutchman will come out in the second quarter, starting with the ball. On the floor, Albright, Hoffman, Bender, Ortel, and Mangle. Mangle guarded by Trevor Johnson down low. Ball's brought up by Hoffman. Hoffman gives to Ortel. Ortel looking to feed someone down low. Now has Hoffman at the top. Mangle has it at the top of the three-point arc. He's dribbling, finds Bender. Bender, a long three. And it was fall, fell way short, an air ball. And number three, Kevin Seal tried to save it in the end. Two points for the Dutchman. Offensive foul on Falcons, second charge of the game. Gives the ball right back to the Dutchman and the turnovers haven't, don't seem to be stopping. Fouls on number 23, Shamron Mercharles. His first, team's fourth. Hoffman not facing any press, brings it up slowly. Finds Ortel, top of the key. Gives to Bender, back to Ortel. Back to Bender, Bender pump fakes. That gives to Mangle. Mangle driving, finds Hoffman, open from three, elects not to take it, finds Ortel down low in the paint. Kicks out to Mangle, pump fake, drives, inside jumper, off the rim, no good. Albany coming down the other way quickly. Right to the rack, good feed, number 30 from the Albany Falcons gets an easy two points. 18 to 12, Dutchman lead. Mangle bringing it up, gives to Bender. Bender finds Mangle wide open, he's rejected. Number 23, Sean Rimmer, Charlie's met Mangle at the rim. Mangle could have done one more feed, but a great rotation, he looked like he was open. Good play from Charlie's. Hoffman looking to inbound, can't find anyone. Maybe to call a timeout. Gets it off to all right just in time. Screen from Ortel. And Ortel now down low, he's fouled. He'll go to the line. Ortel early on the and one, had two attempts at his free throw, missed them both. And that's Mark Charlie's second foul, team's fifth. This is the first. Rebound, rebound. 
And no lane violation called as someone entered early. He misses the second. Albany brings it quickly down. Mangle guarding Stith now. Kicked around. He's looking for somebody, can't find anyone. Eventually finds number 14, Tommy Harbaugh, and he puts it up and gets it to go. Now Hoffman brings it back up, leading by four, gives to Mangle. Now Albright, Ortel's posting up down low, Albright can't find him, gets it to Bender. Now Hoffman, Mangle wide open from the three throw line, jump shot, circles around the rim, doesn't go. Albany can cut the lead down to two or one now. And number 30 drives, takes a few steps, eventually misses the layup. Rebound goes to Ortel, Hoffman now bringing it up. Hoffman gives it Bender. Bender feeds Mangle inside. Mangle posting up, gives it to Albright. Albright drives, kicks out, back to himself. Gets a screen from Ortel, tries to go up. He's got a lot of people around him. Eventually finds Hoffman. Now Ortel in the post. Bring a double team. Now Hoffman down low. He's fouled and one acrobatic play under the hoop. Brendan Hoffman, beautiful play. He'll go to the line. Hoffman 12 for 19, 63.2% on the season. Fouls on number 30, his first, team six. Rims out, but he gets his own rebound, and that'll extend the play. Kicks it out to Bender. Now Albright gets a screen from Mangle. Mangle rolls it open for a second. Ben Artel has it now, gives to Hoffman back to Artel. Now Albright. Gets a screen from Hortel, Albright drives hard. Oh, that was Bender, gives to Albright, back to Bender. Bender, Albright from three. Unfortunate, it goes in the hoop off the top of the backboard, ruled out of bounds. So three will be no good. Alamo Benitez bring it up. Gets a screen from Caleb John. And he goes all the way to the rim and he gets it. Could show up acceleration from Alamo Benitez. And now timeout called. So far the Dutchmen have not been shooting well from the line, but they've dominated the glass and that has led to many Offensive um, second chance points. Face uh, Benitez's floater. He's having a good game so far. And then the acrobatic finish. Brendan Hoffman going to the ground, flips it up. Got the free throw. Or got a free throw, missed it. Four twenty-five left in the first half. Dutchman leave tw lead twenty to sixteen. It'll be Dutchman ball. Hoffman will bring it up. Hoffman it tries to feed Ortel. Kick ball. Dutchman will have the ball out of bounds. Twenty-eight seconds left on the shot clock. Mangle inbounds to Hoffman. Hoffman finds Ortel. Ortel gets it inside to Mangle, kicks out to Bender from three. Doesn't get it to go, rebounded by Alma Benitez. Ball's thrown ahead quickly. Good spin move and flips it up. He's fouled, doesn't get it to go. Good play from Tommy Harbo. Bring it up quickly. He'll head to the line for two. Harbaugh shooting around 50% on the season. First one's no good.
Second one rims out, rebounds tossed around, rebounded by Alma Benitez. Albany getting their offensive rebound. Now Tarmi Harbaugh going again, this time he gets the basket and one finish. He'll head to the line again. Gildeland getting a little taste of their own medicine with uh, second chance points. And now Angel Rodriguez checks into the game. Harbaugh misses again this time. Rebound is secured. Both teams shooting very poorly from the line. Andrew Rodriguez has it. Defensive shape is all messed up. Bender, no look, pass, finds Teeny. Reverse layup, rebounded again by Teeny, and he gets it to go. Another offensive rebound leading to good points in the paint. Benitez dribbling through the legs on Mangle. Crosses over, pulls it back. Andrew Rodriguez closing out. Open three, no good. Rebounds loose. Eventually goes to Ortel. Andrew Rodriguez facing a press. He's got the quickness. He breaks it, finds Teeny. And he gives to Mangle. Mangle finds Albright. Albright gives to Angel. Angel's got it with 15 to go. He crosses up, finds Mangle looking on the three-point line. Now Ortel in the paint tries to feed Mangle. He does. Mangle with a tough shot, spinning, and he gets it to go. Fading away in the paint, tough shot. Mangle makes it look easy. And right back down on the other side. The loose rebound after the shot was missed. And he gets his own rebound, but his foot was on the line. Caleb John. Good effort, unlucky enough to get the first shot. In the end, Dutchman will have possession. But 2.29 left in the half. Benitez playing high on Angel. Now Angel faces a double team, and it's stripped. Number 14, Tommy Harbaugh dunks it in. One-handed flush. Andrew Rodriguez loses it again. This time, Mangle picks it up. Mangle working hard inside. He's fouled and won right back at them. Mangle has a chance at the line. Fouls on number 12, Caleb John. Team seventh, his first. Mangle not phased by the dunk on the other end. Comes right back with an even better play. Angel's gonna have to take care of the ball a couple times. He's lost it, didn't see a, the second man coming, and Mangle misses a free throw. Mangle shooting also a little under 50%. He can't buy one. Alvon Benitez finds Trevor Johnson. Doesn't get it to go. Good rebound from Mangle, throws it down, finds Teeny. No fouls called. Now Teeny finds Ortel, two on one. Good pass, finds Bender, he's got it. 28-20 Dutchman lead. It's a little over a minute and a half to go in the half. Benitez guarded by Angel. Angel screen, he follows his man. Wide open, three rims out. Rebounds loose, Benitez gets it and a foul is called on the floor. Fouls on number one, Matt Bender. His third, team's fourth. So he's gonna have to come out in a little bit of foul trouble. Trevor Johnson hasn't been able to get his threes to go. He's got eight on the season. Albany ball under the hoop. Quick throw to Alamo Benitez, top of the key. Guarded by Hoffman. Double screen ran on Rodriguez. Finds it to Caleb John. He puts it up from three, rebounded by Mangle. Now Hoffman brings it up, a minute to play in this half. 
And Teeny from three. Got it. Extends the lead to 11. Forces Albany to call a timeout. Ryan Teeny with his fifth three of the season. Got nothing but net. Here's the one-handed dunk, the disrespect from Tommy Harbaugh. But then right back on the other end, Mango with a hand in his face, gets hacked, gets it to go anyways. It's the pass from Ben Ortel just outside the reach of John Harbaugh. Finds Bender, flips it in. Easy two points in the paint. And lastly, just now, Teeny's three. Forces Albany to call a timeout with under a minute to go in the half. 31-20, Dutchman lead. Looking for their fourth win on the season. Nises has it, drives baseline, meets people in the middle, good pass. Flips it to number 35, Omar Stith. He gets the layup. Dutchman really cut back to single digits. Mangle has it. Albright to open on the three point line. Hoffman doesn't see him. Looks like Albany has a zone now. Now Angel has it. Once again, handles it a little loosely, but eventually gets to Albright. Albright. Gives to Tini. Under 10 on the shot clock. Tini finds Mango. Mango's going to post up, spin, and shoot. Flips it in off the glass. Mango tips the inbound pass, trying to come away with a quick steal. But five seconds left. Alma Benitez, he's going to take the last shot, working on Hoffman. He goes to pass, and he gets it. At the buzzer. Albany will head into the half down 33-25. Good possession at the end to get those final points. Looked like Benitez was going to shoot. Instead gave it up to Trevor Johnson, I believe. And here are some first half highlights. Ben Ortel and Graham Mango have been very productive. Followed by Daniel Albright chipping in. And they've used their good shooting so far, good rebounding to build a 33-25 lead. We'll be back by the start of the second half.
Welcome back to the second half of the game. Dutchman versus Falcons of Albany. Albany will start with the ball. Dutchman lead 33 to 25. First half, Gildeland seemed to dominate. A quick run by Albany cut the lead shorter. And quickly, Alamo. Alamo Benitez turns it over. Bender gets a steal, kicks to Albright. Albright all the way to the hoop. And he gets it. Right there, the lead is back up to double digits. So the Dutchman dominated the glass, getting many second chance opportunities and converting those into points to help build their lead. Alamo Benitez now. Kiss to Omar Stith. He kicks inside to Evans Browns and he puts it up, rebounded by Ortel, finds Hoffman. Kicks big to Bender. He misses the layup. He goes to the ground hard. Ball's out on Albany, will remain Dutchman possession. Bender seemed to have all kinds of time. Good hustle from Albany to get back on defense. Deny the transition layup. Mangle finds Bender. Gives back to Mangle. Gets a screen from Ortel. Now back to Bender. Finds Ortel down low, posting up one on one. He spins, fades, jumps off the rim, no good. Albright can't get to the offensive rebound. Brought up by Omar Stith. Gives it to Benitez, back to Stith. Puts it up from three. It's the back of the iron. Rebound is loose on the ground. People are hitting the deck. Alvo Benitez comes up with it. And I believe that's a jump ball, which will lead to Dutchman possession. And that is indeed what the call was. Bender gives back to Hoffman. Hoffman back to Bender. See Albany bring him press. Dutchman have to get the ball across half court, and they do. Bender double teamed, gives to Hoffman. They're making Albany work, running back and forth. Now finds Albright down low. He's double teamed and stripped by Alamo Benitez. Alamo just has a runner, doesn't find him. He's going all the way to the hoop, flips it up behind the hoop, and he gets it to go. The ro friendly roll, no fouls called, but good work from him. He's been putting in a lot of effort, and he's getting the results. Once again, Albany bringing a little bit of a press, but Bender breaks it, brings it up. Now he's trapped in the corner. And a foul is called. Foul's on number four, Alamo Benitez. His first, team's first. 26 on the shot clock. Bender will inbound. He flips up to Mangle, and Mangle's pushed. Mangle pushes off, gets called for an offensive foul. He doesn't understand the call. But it's his first and the team's first. Albany will bring it up. Alamo Benitez. Gives to Omar Stith. Stith gets the screen, drives in, finds Brown. Brown out to Trevor Johnson. Trevor Johnson drives, gives to Stith, and poked away from Hoffman, good steal. Gets it to Mangle, Hoffman now pushes the floor quick. Tries to find Mangle, luckily Albright is there to save it from going out of bounds, and no turnover. Now they slow it down. Still have a lot of time on the shot clock, Bender has it. Gives to Hoffman. Hoffman finds a double team, and the ball's tipped around. It was stolen by Brown, and Bender picks up another quick foul. That's his fourth. He's going to have to come out. Bad foul from Bender. No need to try and get that ball back. And he's going to have to spend some time on the bench. He'll be crucial down the stretch, and they need him. Campbell gives to Benitez. Benitez drives, spins, good move. It's short, but the rebound falls to number 12, Caleb John. He misses it. Now Albright's pushing the floor quick. They have numbers up. He spins. Ball's tipped around again. Now Hoffman comes out with it. No shot in the end is put up, and Hoffman resets. Hoffman gives a teeny. Teeny finds Ortel wide open under the hoop. He misses the layup, gets his own rebound, puts it up again. It's still no good. Buen Artel, lots of offensive rebounds. 
but leaving points up on the board. Trevor Johnson from deep off the backboard, no good. Now Hoffman brings it up. Dutchman still leading by eight. Finds Teeny. Teeny puts it down low to Mangle, gives back to Teeny. Teeny goes up, and he's blocked from behind. Blocked by Trevor Johnson. Now Benitez has it. Working on Hoffman, he drives, jump steps into the paint. No good, rebound falls to Ortel. Ortel gives to Hoffman to bring it up. Working on Campbell, runs past him. Finds Mangle wide open, elects not to take the three. Finds a cutting Albright who gives back to Teeny. Teeny gives to Hoffman, to now to Mangle. Mangle from three, shot a little flat, short, hits the front iron and rims out. Benitez bringing it up. He's gonna drive, working against Mangle. No look, flips it up and gets it to go. Cuts the lead to six. Hoffman gives the teeny. Timeout, Gilderland. After the Dutchman started quick, Albany has worked to cut the deficit a little more than the halftime lead was. Here's the replay, Albright with the finish. But Benitez answers right on the other end, flipping it up. Tough shot, gets it to go. Three minutes and 41 seconds left in the third quarter. Coach Parks looking to draw up a play. Get the Dutchman offense back to scoring in. Bender still sitting. Teeny will have to carry some of the load. Asking a lot of a sophomore in a must-win game, really, against an inferior opponent. These are the wins that you must get to keep the season alive and worth something. Albright has it. Double team trapped in the corner, finds Hoffman. Hoffman finds Teeny. They have numbers up now. Mangle gives to Hoffman. Hoffman, pump fakes, doesn't take the three. Now gives to Albright, who does take the three. And he hits the rim, no good. Rebound is loose, eventually gets the Mangle. Hoffman from three, doesn't take. Finds Teeny in the corner, Teeny's fouled. No shot, fouls on the floor. Fouls on number three, Seal. His first team second. Good ball movement from Hoffman. New shot clock, 35 seconds, Mangle inbound. Mango gives to Hoffman. Hoffman finds Teeny. Albright. Albright running around. Eventually he gets it to Teeny in the corner. Mango resets it up top, finds Hoffman. Albright, corner three, doesn't take. And the ball's poked away. Finds number three, Seal. He has a tough shot, can't get it to go. But an offensive rebound from number 23, Merchalis. He can't get it to go. Ball still tipped around. Now Merchalis has it wide open. And he misses the dunk. Sean Brown, head coach of Albany, isn't happy with the calls. In the end, the foul is on number three, Brendan Hoffman, his second. And this will all be sorted out. No technical to sign. Albany will inbound with a fresh shot clock under the hoop. Seal gets fouled by Hoffman again. Albany calls a timeout. The refs are going to talk over what happened. They need to get a handle on this game, calm it down a little bit. And Albany seems to be attacking the rim strong, picking up a lot of fouls from the Dutchman. They're already at 14 fouls with 2.43 remaining in the third quarter. Sean Brown doesn't think his players are getting the calls they deserve. And he let the refs know about it.
Once again, Albany will inbound under the hoop. Inbound is Trevor Johnson. Johnson finds Seal. Seal working on Teeny. Gives to Caleb John, who finds Trevor Johnson. Johnson finds Seal at the top of the three point arc. Guarded by Albright. Seal still has it dribbling around. Finds Caleb John. John gives to Trevor Johnson. Open look from three, and he misses again. Not having a good night from three, but the rebound is. All, all over by Albany, Seal has it. Has a chance for a second point opportunity. And a three from Trevor Johnson. Finally, he gets it to go. Figured he had to get one. May have been Michael Campbell. But that many opportunities, open looks, and they cut the lead to three. Hoffman has it now, Sean Brown is Excited along the uh, coach's box, and the three is no good. Albany comes right back. It's Campbell driving against Hoffman. Kicks it out to Seal. Now Johnson. And Campbell flips it out. Mangle with the rebound. Hoffman has it. Teeny's open. Finds Mangle. Ball really needs to be in Mangle's hands here. They need desperately points, and Mangle puts it up, and he gets the job done. Dutchman needed that. Now if they can get a stop here, and end this quarter going out well. Seal against Hoffman. Gives to Caleb John, and a three. Another one from Michael Campbell. Cuts the lead to two. Hoffman brings it up. They work quickly, they have a two for one. They're gonna elect not to take that. Albright brings it up. Mangle has it now. Kicks inside a teeny, now Ortel. Hoffman, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Mangle from three. Ortel got the air ball, but a foul is called. Looks like Mangle will head to the line and have a chance at three free throws. Foul's on number three, Seal, his third, team's fourth. Not a good foul, but you saw it affect clearly affect Mangle's shot as his shot was way short, shooting under 50% on the season. First one rims out. Gets the second one to go. Maybe this will be a turning point on Gildeland's free throw woes so far in this game. And Angel Rodriguez checks in for Daniel Albright. Matt Bender hasn't seen action since he picked up his fourth foul. And second one rims out. Mango gets one out of the three. But they'll get another possession as number three, Shamir Marcharles, on the rebound, his foot was along the end line. And now, Dutchman will get the last possession of the quarter. Can make it a two possession game. Rodriguez to inbound. And the ball is stolen, but, or tried to find Ortel, now Seal has it. 13 seconds to go, Seal brings it up, guarded by Hoffman. Waiting to make his move, seven seconds. Gets a screen, now guarded by Mangle. And Mangle blocks him. It's a travel, great defensive play from Mango using that long reach. Two seconds, Hoffman will inbound. Getting a look to just chuck it down and hope. Hoffman finds Teeny, gets it back to Hoffman. Hoffman chucks it off from half court. It's no good. That'll be the end of the third quarter. Albany cuts the lead down to three. Gilderland leads 38-35.
Michael Campbell led the offense for the Albany Falcons, adding two threes in that quarter. He hadn't been seen earlier in the game. And the big play for Gisland was Matt Bender picking up that unnecessary foul, his fourth. Hasn't seen action since. Looks from here like Coach Parks is gonna send him out to start the fourth quarter. He's a key player, good ball handler. And Albany will look to attack him, draw that fifth foul. Bender will sit. On the floor, Angel Rodriguez, Brendan Hoffman, Ryan Teeny, Ben Ortel, and Grant Mangle. I felt that Mangle didn't get enough touches in that third quarter. He's a source of their offense. And he's also been playing great defense, so I'm close out. And now Mangle finds Rodriguez, open three. And he airballs it, rebounds, toss around. Eventually, Albany comes up with it. Number 30 brings it up. He finds Trevor Johnson, and he gets the layup to go. Cuts the lead to one. Dutchman had a double digit lead at one point in this game. Now leading by one. They've had the lead since pretty early in the first quarter. Angel gives to Hoffman. Back to Angel. Gives to Hoffman. Seal tried to jump the pass, which leaves Hoffman open from a mid range jumper. He gets it to go. Much needed point. Seal kicks it ahead. Tried to find Mar Charlie's. He didn't see it. And Ortel, the ball, the ball fell right into his hands. Look at a football pass. Good catch from the receiver. Angels fouled near midcourt. And that's Seal's fourth foul. He'll have to sit. Harbaugh and Benitez check in for the Falcons. Benitez was a key player. Second and third quarters, he's back. Angel has it. Only Bench trying to get their defense to play hard. And Ortel doesn't see Marchales jump the pass trying to find Mango. Benitez brings it up and he flips it up and is fouled. He'll go to the line. Benitez five, just five for 15 on the season shooting 33%. That's Brennan Hoffman's third foul, team's fifth. Five team fouls for each team. Alamo Benitez drains the first. And the second. Good clutch free throws from Benitez. Gets them when they count. Pulls the, them back within one. Hoffman bringing up quick, a stop, finds Angel. Angel gives to Teeny. Teeny drives hard, flips it up one-handed, no good, but rebound is tipped out by Mangle and finds Teeny again. Teeny finds Ortel Mangle. He travels in the paint. Many defenders swarmed him. And now Albright checks in for Ortel. Albany has a chance here to take their first lead since the first quarter. Michael Alamo Benitez brings it up, guarded by Hoffman. Gets a screen from number 30. Benitez elects not to use it. Tries to find a pass, but he instead finds Mangle. Hoffman bringing it up, finds Angel. Rodriguez going all the way to the rim, and then kicks it out to Teeny. Teeny finds Angel again under the hoop, wide open, he's blocked. Mark Charles just too big for Angel Rodriguez, makes it look easy, effortless, gets the block. Alan Benitez comes down the other way. There's a big mismatch down low. Angel Rodriguez on number 30. And Benitez tries to go all the way. An offensive foul. Brendan Hoffman draws it. Benitez missed that miss. Teeny switched on to Benitez, which left 
Andrew Rodriguez, the smallest guy on the floor, against number 30, and it was a scene fortunate for a Dutchman. And now Angel checks out, checking in is Bender. Bender needs to be careful, has four fouls. Hoffman moving, uh, needs help. Eventually finds Mangle. Campbell wasn't gonna allow an easy inbound pass. Bender bringing it in, gives it to Hoffman. They need to get across half court, and they do. Bender finds Teeny in the corner. Kicked inside to Mangle, Mangle's fouled. He flips it up, and he'll head to the line for two. Fouls on number 14, Tommy Harbaugh, his first, team seventh. Dutchman now in the bonus with five minutes to go. That's a good sign. That'll help them throughout the rest of the game. Mangle hasn't been shooting well from the line, gets the first to go. Second one rims out, rebounds fall for it. Bender smartly pulls out, doesn't want to pick up a foul like that. Benitez has driving quick on Hoffman. He steps, beautiful move. Euro steps into the paint, gets two points and ties the game at 41 with five minutes remaining. Teeny's wide open. They find him on the other side. He dishes it to Mangle. Mangle kicks it out to Bender. Now Hoffman, they reset. Mangle calling for it. Given to Bender, back to Hoffman. Now Albright, back to Hoffman. 10 on the shot clock. Bender's got it. Down low to Mangle. Mangle working spins in the post and gets it to go, fading away. Good stroke, gets two points, and Benitez coming right back down. Now slows it down. Gets a screen from Harbaugh on Hoffman. Now he keeps it. Still working on Hoffman. Gets it to Harbaugh, and it's off Harbaugh. Dutchman ball, good D from Albright. Wouldn't give up his positioning. And Harbaugh just couldn't handle it. Good no call from the ref. Once again, Albany presses. Bender and Hoffman playing a two-man game, trying to get it across. And Hoffman crosses that field, but uses his speed. Finds Teeny in the corner, open three. It's too strong, but the rebound comes out to Mangle, and Bender, as he grabbed it, was hit by Tommy Harbaugh. As Dutchmen are in the bonus, Bender will head to the line. Tommy Harbaugh's second foul. Timeout, Albany, Sean Brown calling for a timeout. He's furious about something. <laughs> Referee seemed to have a mistake, Sean Brown. Again, letting him know, but he needs to be careful. Ref can still give a technical. Here you see Brendan Hoffman's jumper stepped in. And on the other side, Alamo Benitez. Mangle's been doing that all game, posting up, turning, and fading away for the two points. 3.59 left in the game, and we have a good one. Three and nine Dutchman facing the one and 11 Falcons. Each team desperately want to put another W in the column. Teeny remains in the game for Ben Ortel. Ref talking to some players, making sure this game stays under control down the stretch. One and one. 
Bender shoots. If he makes the first, he gets a second. If not, the ball's live. And he gets the friendly roll. He'll shoot this one on this shot. The ball is live. He can extend it to a two possession game. He gets it to go. Bender shooting 68% on the season. Alamo Benitez brings it up, down by four. Guarded by Albright. He flips it inside to Trevor Johnson. And now Albright's going one-on-one -on -one versus Caleb John. He's going down the floor. He tucks it in, goes over, and overshoots it. Rebounded by Trevor Johnson. Johnson slows it down. Maybe that is Campbell. Campbell flips it up one-handed and gets it to go. 45-43. Bender has it. Him and Hoffman will play their two-man game, break it the press, and now it's pushed to Mangle. Mangle gets trapped, finds Hoffman. Bender elects not to take the three. Cross court switch to Teeny, now Hoffman. And Mangle's being denied the entry pass. So they'll swing it around to Albright, who kicks it out to Teeny. Teeny pump fakes, goes inside. Shot's too strong, and Teeny fights for the rebound. Jump ball, it'll be Albany ball. Under three minutes to go, Dutchman lead by two. Trevor Johnson gives to Campbell. Campbell gives to Benitez. Benitez drives on Mangle, flips it up off the backboard, gets his own miss, puts it up again, no good. This time, Caleb John on the sec third try gets it in, ties the game at 45. Albany seems to have been the more dominant team on the glass. Timeout call by Coach Parks. Earlier in the game, we saw the Dutchman getting many second chance points, but since the halfway point, it's been all Albany. Many offensive rebounds, easy points in the paint. Albany's charge has been led by Alamo Benitez, bringing them back down from double digits to tie the game at 45. Dutchman have been moving the ball well, getting some open looks, just haven't been able to get them to go. And if this game doesn't go their way, it's going to come back down to the free throws. They're shooting very poorly. Uh, teams will come back out, take the court. Same five remain on the floor for the Dutchman. The ball gets safely inbounded to Hoffman. 25 on the shot clock. Crucial possession here for the Dutchman. Mangle's got it inside. He picks up a double team. Teeny has it now. Doesn't want to take the shot. They want to get it to Mangle inside. And Mangle's fouled. He'll head to the line. Fouls on number 14, Tommy Harbaugh. One and one. Teams will be looking to rebound. Mangle hasn't been reliable from the line. But he gets it. Clutch shot from Mangle. Puts the Dutchman back up. Albany still has not taken a lead since the first quarter. But they've fought back hard since they were down double digits. Second one's rebounded out. Albany are down 46-45. 
Alma Benitez looks like he wants to take it all the way. A blocking foul is called on Albright. Or Bender, sorry. And that's Bender's fifth. He's done for the game, his fifth foul he picked up. It's a good attempt to bring up the charge, not a bad foul to take. Ben Ortel will check in for him. Now Alamo Benitez, two for two in the game, 33% on the season. Looking to tie the game on the first shot. First shot, bounces off the rim and out. Second one also rims out, but offensive rebound, Trevor Johnson, that's huge. That can't happen for the Dutchman. Caleb John now gives back to Benitez. Under two minutes to play. Albany with another second chance opportunity. Benitez working on Albright, now gives to Caleb John. Ball's tipped around, finds Campbell. Campbell flips it up inside, off the rim, no good. Ball was flipped up by. Not sure exactly who flipped it up yet, but he drew the foul. He'll head back to the line. And it is Benitez. He goes right back to the line, getting a redemption chance. Pressure's all on Michael Elmo Benitez. He's not getting a friendly rim. Shots are rolling off the rim. He's clearly frustrated. Short, rebounds loose. Albany get remain in possession. Long extended possession from Albany, hasn't brought up any points. How long can Gildolin hold? Alamo Benitez has it once again off the foot of Albright. Remain in possession, Albany. 135 remaining in the fourth quarter. Dutchman up by one. Albany's in the bonus. Trevor Johnson inbounds to Campbell. Campbell working on Albright. Drives into the paint. It's blocked by Albright. Mangle gets the rebound. Now Hoffman has it. Dutchman somehow holds for over a minute on defense. Hoffman drives past his man. Gives it up to Ortel. Now Albright. All right, all right's fouled, he's bailed out. Looked like he may have turned it over. He actually called his timeout, smart timeout. He was either gonna travel or turn it over. Instead, they'll keep possession with 16 on the shot clock. 108 left in the game, up by one. Coach Parks is gonna look up to draw a reliable play. It's gonna be important that they get Mangle a touch on the ball on this possession. He'll draw defenders and either score or kick it out to an open man. There you saw Bender's fifth foul. Blocking foul, was, didn't get his feet set for the charge. And while Gildoen has had a lot of chances at the line. Mangle's got a couple to go. And Alamo Benitez was frustrated. Went 0 for 4 on the last possession. Crucial points left out on the floor. Hoffman's got it, 15 on the shot clock. Picks up a double team, he's looking to get trapped. Mangle now has a mismatch on Benitez. Quickly draws those defenders, Hoffman from three. Hits the back iron, rebounded by Benitez. Hoffman fighting for it, backs off. 
50 seconds. Albany down by one. Needs his working on Hoffman. Balls loose. Hoffman, good hustle play. Tries to get it. Albany calls a timeout. Good timeout from Sean Brown. Brown questioning Caleb John's decision making. Forty two seconds left in the game. Dutchman forty six, Falcons forty five. Important that Coach Parks sets up a good defensive play. Doesn't allow any open threes and try and nothing easy in the paint. Maybe send Benitez to the line. They have no fouls to give. Put Benitez's wits to the test at the line. See if he can handle the pressure after going two for two to start the game. Then recently going 0 for four. He showed clear frustration. Trevor Johnson will be the inbounder. And the Albany's running a stack. Gonna look to pop out, get a good inbound pass. And they do, they get into Alan Benitez. Working against Hoffman, 40 seconds. Inbound pass is denied by Mangle with the steal. Gets it to Hoffman. And if they can't get a steal, they're gonna need a foul, and they do. Trevor Johnson fouls Hoffman. Shot clock's turned off. First foul on Johnson. And Hoffman will shoot two in the double bonus. No matter what, it'll still be a one possession game. Great defensive effort from Mangle. Denied the entry pass and fell to Hoffman. Hoffman protected the ball well, didn't give up a steal. First one's no good. Free throw problems continue for the Dutchman. It's off the mark. Ortel with a huge offensive rebound. Gives to Mangle. Mangle finds Hoffman again. Clock is winding down, 25 seconds to go. Gets it to Tini. Want to get in the hands of a good free throw shooter. Hoffman's got it now. Johnson has to foul him, but it's not happening. Now Mangle has it, and they foul Mangle. Fouls on Trevor Johnson, his second. Now Mangle will shoot two. Dutchman did well to waste a lot of time. 14 seconds now remaining, but Mangle is the one shooting free throws. He gets the first huge free throw. This one will could extend it to a three point lead. Gets a second clutch free throws from Mangle, 48-45. Benitez has it, under 10 to go. Working on Hoffman. Looks like he's gonna want the last shot. Six seconds, five seconds. Gives it up, they need a three. Benitez kicks it out, one second, he spins, shoots, and he gets it to go. Alamo Benitez. Cold-blooded, got it back with under two seconds, quickly went to the three-point arc, spun, crazy shot, gets it to go. And that sends the game to overtime, tied at 48. What a shot. He gave it up to Caleb John, got it right back.
Dutchman can't believe it. Nothing they could do. Here it was, hand in his face. Hoffman all up on him. Sends Albany bench up. Crazy series of events. Mangle hit two clutch free throws to extend the lead to three. Alamo Benitez, only four threes on the season. Nails that one. Well reset with a tip ball. This time Mangle wins it, gives it to Albright. And we begin overtime. Gutherland's last overtime game was against Burnt Hills and they ended up coming out on top. Mangle took over in that overtime. Could it happen again? Here he is. Unlucky rims out. Albright gets the rebound, he's stuffed. And it'll be Dutchman ball under the hoop, good D. Mangle couldn't get the small jumper to go. And then Albright got the rebound, tried to put it back up, was stuffed by Mark Charles. Mark Charles having a great game, a couple of blocks. 3.30 to go in overtime. Off and gives to Albright. Albright tries to find Ortel, it's denied, gives it to Mangle. Hoffman likes not to take the three. Ortel gives the teeny, teeny drives baseline, brings it back out, short jumper, he's good. Teeny puts the Dutchman back in front, 50 to 48. Caleb John gives to Benitez. Now Caleb John working on Mangle, goes for three. Well short, rebounded by Ortel. Hoffman brings it up. Campbell defending him. Gives him Mangle, who gives to Albright. Albright cross court to Hoffman. Inside to Mangle, wide open Teeny from three, he likes not to take it, pump fakes, draws a man. Ball doesn't go. And Marcharles there, that's why he's in. Get those big rebounds. Campbell spins, puts it up. Marcharles, offensive rebound, and a foul is called on Ortel. That'll send Marcharles to the line. Marcharles hasn't been to the line a lot this season. In his experience, he's one for three, 33%. One and one. <laughs> Banks it in. Cuts the lead to one, balls live on the shot. Second one's no good, good rebound by Mangle. Dutchman remain up by one. About to reach the halfway point in overtime. Ball's kicked ahead to Ortel. Ortel finds a cutting Albright. Gives it back to Ortel. Now Hoffman resets, 15 on the shot clock. Screen from Mengel, now rolls. Hoffman goes all the way. Albright wide open from three. He's got it, extends the lead. 53-49, Daniel Albright. Big three, puts the pressure on Albany. Benitez has it, working on Hoffman. Johnson posting up down low. Instead, goes to number 14 who works inside. Tommy Harbaugh couldn't get it, so Marcharles can't hold the rebound. Now Hoffman has it, and up by four. Albany has some decisions to make. They're gonna play straight up defense. Trap doesn't work, Mangle has it. Ryan Tini doesn't take the three, goes all the way to the hoop. He's bumped, doesn't get it to go. Big offensive rebound from Ben Ortel, and he's fouled as he goes up. Ortel under 50% on the season. He started out in the first quarter hot, hasn't 
been in the scoring tally recently, but he has some huge free throws here. Mark Charlie's third foul on him. Back iron, no good. Ball's live on the shot. Campbell running to the opposite side of the floor. Albright's gonna track him. Second one's no good. Mark Charles tries to gather the rebound and it's off of Mangle. Big call from the ref. Albany will have it with a little over a minute to go. Down by four. Foul on the floor. Foul on Brendan Hoffman. His fourth foul. And that sends Benitez back to the line. Earlier in the game, he made his first two, then went 0 for 4. He's the man of the hour, hitting that clutch, fading away three to send this game to overtime. Gets the first one to go. Gets the second one. But there's a lane violation, so it will not count. Dutchman will remain up by three. Second lane violation of the game. Sloppy from Albany, not disciplined, especially in such a close game. And those are the close calls that sometimes can affect your record. That could be why they're one and 11. Mangle has it in the paint, spinning. Gets it to go, puts them up by five. 40 seconds to go. Huge possession, Albany needs points. Down by five, Benitez driving hard, carries it in one hand and he gets it. Good cradling from Benitez, holds onto the ball, flips it up at the last second. Down by three, Dutchman have it. And a timeout on the floor. Michael Alamo Benitez, the junior, has been doing it all for the Falcons. Having a huge game. Shot clock is turned off, so Coach Parks needs to make sure the Dutchman can inbound the ball cleanly, no turnover on the pass and then get the ball in the hands of a good free throw shooter. Ryan Tini, solid. Next best shooter is Brendan Hoffman. And Daniel Albright falling around the 60% mark. Ryan Tini's up at 77%, highest by far. But they need to take care of the ball, most importantly. Take care of the ball, take as much time as you can, and then make your free throws to close out this game. They haven't made their free throws earlier, and this is when it counts. Albany, of course, full court pressing, going man to man, not allowing anything easy. Mark Charles, finding Teeny on the inbound. They find Mangle. Gives to Teeny. That's the person you want the ball to have. Now Mangle finds Albright. They have a three on two. And Albright holds smart play. Takes the foul with 22 seconds left in overtime. Albright, the third best shooter, doing 61% at the line. Can extend this to a two possession game. Gets the first. 56-52.
Albany must secure the rebound in the case of a miss. But there is no miss. Albright gets it to go, puts the lead back up to five. Albany has fought hard to get it to this point. Trailed by double digits. Hasn't had a lead since the first quarter. And now it's gonna take a lot to come back in this. Albany doesn't need a three. They can go for a quick two, just like on the last possession. But at some point, Dutchman need to either miss free throws or Albany is not gonna come home away come away with the away victory. Park using as much time as he can on this timeout, making sure everything goes perfectly. No mistakes here. Dutchman don't need to foul, don't need to be overly aggressive, just play it straight up. Give them the quick two if they need it, if you trust yourself at the line. I'm open knee test from three. Doesn't go, Mango with a huge rebound and he's fouled. Mango has a chance to seal the game right here. Doesn't get the first. No matter what, it'll be a two possession game. He gets the second, Albany must hit a qu very quick three, get a steal, put it right back up. Steal working quick, he goes in. Needs an and one, only gets two. Needed to be fouled, Albany is down by four. Dutchman once again in the position where they just need a clean inbound pass. If they can handle the ball, they'll be immediately fouled. Kevin Steele with those last two points. Good attempt, he got what he was going for. Could have used a foul, but it's a smart from Gilliland. Let him have that. Two points isn't going to save them. We got here starting from Albany taking very early in the first quarter. Dutchman quickly canceled that out, went on a big run in the second, led at halftime. Entering the third was up by double digits. Albany crawled their way back in. Has tied the game multiple times, but hasn't taken the lead. And with two seconds left, Alamo Benitez chucked up the desperation three. He got it to go. It was great awareness, great play. He sent it to overtime. And now the Dutchmen have been closing out, making important free throws. Lead by four with five seconds remaining in overtime. Teeny to inbound. He's Hoffman wide open, and he's fouled. About a second runs off the clock. Hoffman the second best free throw shooter.
doesn't get the first. Hoffman misses a second as well. Ball's tipped around and Ortel comes up with a rebound and that is going to end the game. Ortel with another offensive rebound. Figures he'd end the game just like that as he was dominant on the glass offensively tonight. Led to a lot of second chance points. And the Dutchmen come away with a home victory bringing their record to four and nine. They win the game 58-54. It's a good effort from Albany. They put everything they had on the floor. Grant Mangle led the team for the Dutchman. Another dominating performance from him. And on the other side, of course, Alamo Benitez leading the charge. He couldn't do it alone though, and Dutchman came away with a victory. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Once again, Dutchman come out on top over the Albany Falcons. We'll leave you from highlights from the game. You'll see a lot of Mangle and Benitez going back and forth. I'm Aaron Asher, who called the game tonight. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.